We need to help. My name is Hadith Mokhtator. For my whole life, I've been very interested with others and where they come from. I love to learn about different cultures and faiths. But it might be hard to learn about them if they're destroyed. In this passage, I will speak about just two of our world's beautiful cultures and how we can resist the conflicts of religions, cultures, and countries. The first culture is the Igbo of Africa. The Igbo people are a group that lives in Algeria and southeastern Nigeria. There are nearly 8 million Igboids living in Africa. Today, a majority of them speak English after they were colonized by the British. But before the British colonized in Algeria, the Igbo were people of great culture. One of the most fascinating things about this group is that they had a variety of languages in which they spoke such as Okba and Ika. Traditionally, the attire of the Igbo was little clothing, yet elders were fully clothed. Women traditionally carried their babies on their backs. The Igbo loved to do pottery and paintings of their cultural beliefs. The Igbo women also have a talent for cooking, and which they love to cook is yam porridge. Yam is a type of tropical fruit in which the roots are edible. This vegetable is so popular to the Igbo culture that they even have a festival for it. The festival is called the New Yam Festival, which is held for the harvesting of the yam. Other important cuisines include jollof rice and gari, which is maize and plantains. But this culture is suffering through poverty, power, government, and lack of freedom. There is also another group of people that are suffering with today's world's challenges. This group is the Eskimos. The Eskimos live in Russia, Alaska, and Canada. They have many different languages, including the Inuit language and the Serenisky language, which is virtually extinct. The Eskimos used to wear different colorful cloths and warm fuzzy jackets made out of animal skin. Now, the Inuit people, or Eskimos, wear what we would in cold weather, jeans and ski jackets. When you think of the Eskimos, the word igloo might come to mind. Eskimos are famous for building different shelters in order to fit the environment in which they live in. They are also known for their different art designs. In conclusion, I believe that we must care for our world and the people we share it with. You can visit local centers in your community that help people around the world such as the people in Haiti, Afghanistan, Algeria, or the Philippines. It's important to preserve our world's beautiful art, foods, and people. If we work together, I know the future will be bright for all our world's cultures, faiths, and tribes.